was, at, at the time it was built, the Royal Alexander Theatre in 1907 was one of the finest theatres in North America. It still is such a beautiful building, timeless. If those walls could talk, Cav, over 100 years old. So last night, yes, last night, uh, Kinky Boots closed. Now, welcome back, by the way, to, uh, to Breakfast Television. Good morning. That science is going to be coming down soon. Uh, it will. It will. A lot of things are going to be uh, changing there uh, soon. You were there last night. Last night, I uh, had a chance to see the very last performance of Kinky Boots. You remember when Kinky Boots came, that it was only supposed to be here for like 11, 12 weeks? Yes. Ended up being here for almost a year. That's a sign of an amazing show. So uh, here's the curtain call from last night. The last chance an audience is going to have to clap under the current Royal Alexander Theatre. It's about to undergo a two and a half million dollar facelift, one of the biggest since it opened in 1907. Full house, by the way. I want to. This is, this is a real loyal audience, too. A lot of these people have seen this dozens of times. Funny you should say that, Kev. I remember at Spirit of the Season, a lot of people who come down for our annual Christmas show, they were saying that they also make sure they go see these types of shows when in Toronto, yeah. they're out of town and they stay at the Sheridan Hotel. Well, many said they had seen this show repeatedly. They loved it. It was incredible. But it's too late. Can't go see it now. Uh, <laughs> so I had a chance. Uh, David Mervish uh, offered me a chance to go crawling through this theater. Like everyone has seen the main auditorium and the, and, the, and the staging. So I had a chance to go behind closed doors. That's so cool. Which was awesome, absolutely had a great time. So let's, uh, let's start uh, by taking you through, through the auditorium to begin with. As I remember, this thing was opened in 1907. Love the music. Finest building of its kind at the time. Such a beautiful building. So there's David Mervish. So taking me backstage, and not only that, but we go back into some of the areas. Same stage door and it is a labyrinth back there. So this was the original stage door, and some of the people who, who came through here, like Orson Welles. Did you see all those photos? That's yeah. like their own museum back there that no one gets to see. The whole place is like is like a museum, like but there's a, a, yeah, a Hall of Fame or something. And I couldn't believe David. He wasn't breaking a sweat. I was. <laughs> So we went way, way up to the top into the flies. Oh, no way. Kev! <gasps> Absolutely. Weren't you scared up there? That's no, high. Dina, that's my that's my <laughs> my middle name is Danger. Oh now, man. Are these still used? Oh, but yeah. these are still used. It, yep. It's it's a labyrinth up there though, but it is absolutely fascinating to see how the theater the show, work, really works. I see a door I want oh, to go yeah. in. This is a good door to go in. This I just kept saying, can I go in there? Can I go in? This, yep. when we went in, this is behind the mural that you see in the auditorium. Not as pretty from this side. No, it's not. So that mural that you see in the auditorium, they have to do riggings and things like that for shows. They have to have access in, in behind. Sure. So we had oh, a chance to go Technically, to what's right happening behind, behind there. there is incredible. How many hands are, are pulling cables and switching scenes. Interesting thing about that mural as well, there's a little boy there they used as a model. He was 10 years old. He grew up in the 60s to be the, the architect who did the last major renovation at the Royal Alex. Come on, that full guy, circle. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. So did you get any he's weird a, feelings in there, Kev? Any drafts? He's the one on the right. You know? You're always asking about ghosts, aren't you? I don't you? know, you know, but yet I hate to hear ghost stories, but I'm just a little bit curious, and, but I, w I don't really want to know. And yes, there are, but I mean, nothing in particular, but every theater has, has ghost stories. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's continue our tour, and uh, where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? Okay, so this is the paper. Up more stairs. More stairs. There's a lot of stairs there. You see, we use it for tools, but up here, we lower the drop up and down. Yeah, natural light coming from above. You see parts from patterns. This is like being at a garage sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. All, all parts of the seats downstairs. <laughs> yeah. What do they do with all that stuff? Yeah. I don't know. Yes. You know what, though? It's, it's like my garage, though. I don't know so what I'm going to do with, with what, half right? that stuff. Right? Put it on eBay. What do you do? Do you have a big garage sale? This is under the stage where they can actually cut out portions of the floor if they have to. I haven't been in this part of the theater. And so I even brought, I even brought David well, to places he hadn't even been I, in the theater before. I'd love to see that. New territory. Now, this was a so first in North America. It was one of the first buildings in North America to have air conditioning. And then they would cut ice from Lake Simcoe. Under the during the winter, oh, 
old school. And they, they would bring it, and, it and then they would have a fan blow blow it under the vents that I is still under the seats. Yeah, I don't think they'd have to spread it because. There so when no it reopens, there's actually yeah. going to be about 200 well, less seats. Oh, why? Because they're going to make the leg room. Airlines, take note. They're going to give people more leg room. Come on, this yes. is the reverse trend, and I love it. That's right, 200 less seats, yeah. are going back to yeah. encourage that when you do pay for a ticket, every seat is yeah. going to be that much more comfortable rather than throwing a bunch of people like sardines. So thank you very good much, David, you. for the tour. It's amazing, and good luck with the uh, renovation of the Royal Alex. It reopens in November. Stay class, classy, Mervish family. <laughs> classy, Mervish family. <laughs>